In this video, I'm going to document how I mirror my Android screen to my Windows laptop using a USB cable. I'm going to explain why I need to mirror my Android screen to my Windows laptop, what are the software and hardware I need to make this work. Number three, I'll be talking about the software. And then number four, this is the way the, the real documentation starts. Then number five, there is also a setting that we need to do on the Android phone. Let's start with our first point. Why do I want to mirror my Android screen onto my Windows laptop? I conduct classes on how to do mobile video editing. The other reason is to use it as a webcam. Now, there are many ways to mirror the Android screen. Basically, we break them down into two, wirelessly or using a USB cable. Uh, what's wrong with casting wirelessly? Lag. So the second issue is Wi-Fi stability. That brings us to the next best solution, direct connection from the Android phone to the computer via a USB cable. What can it do? Okay, there are five things. Minimum lag, because I dare not say that there is no lag. I'm gonna swipe. Tell me, is there a lag? I have intentionally switched off the Wi-Fi. As you can see, there is no connection to prove that we are running through cable alone. So we can go horizontal orientation and vertical orientation. The mirrored version automatically adjusts itself. So if I switch back to horizontal, there I go. Now watch this. I am controlling my trackpad. I can also control from touch screen, watch. Oh my. I'm going to demonstrate the keyboard. If I tap on the Firefox search bar, of course, I can type from my phone. For example, I type video lane. I can also continue typing from the keyboard on my computer. Look, I can backspace from here, I can arrow key, and type in video lane. And then continue typing from my, from my Android. Instead of pressing my home button, I'm going to press it on my laptop. There! Okay, how do I make this work? What do I need? Okay, first of all, I'll need my Android phone. Okay, this method doesn't work on an iPhone. Of course, you need a Windows PC or laptop. It will work on a Mac as well. Then you will need your USB charging cable. We will have to download and install a software called Screen Copy. Then you will need to do an initial setup. Before we do the setup, let's take a look at screen copy. Okay, let's go into the website github.com slash mobile slash SCRCPY. You can ignore all these uh, files. Scroll down till you see readme.md. Okay, and then you see the application name. SCRCPY, a short form for screen copy. It's version 1.17. It's January 2021. By the time you watch this video, that version could have been something else. Feel free to read up what screen copy is about. Oh, there's one more thing. We can mirror the screen, but it doesn't mirror the audio. We need to install sound copy. Okay, SND CPY. Okay, I'll do that in another video. Let's keep things simple. Let's install screen copy. As you scroll down further, you will see a heading called Get the App. Let's go to Windows. Click on this, the SCR CPUI zip file. Download the zip file. Okay, once you have downloaded, it will go into a download folder. You just click on extract all and it will create a separate folder with a lot of files 
inside, we only need to use this one, SCR CPY. Whenever I want to mirror my Android screen, all I have to do is to type in the search bar at the bottom, I'm going to type SCRCPY. And all I have to do is to tap on enter and watch. Boom. Okay, I see my screen now. Isn't that fast? Less than one second. There's one more step. What if your Android screen does not show? Then we'll have to enable USB debugging. If the Android screen is not mirroring, we have to enable the USB debugging mode on the Android phone. So how do we do that? I'm going to show you these steps. First, on the Android phone, we go into settings. So I'm going to pull down the tray from the top and tap on the gear icon for settings. And then I'll look for the about phone option. On my phone is right at the bottom. So I'm going to tap on about phone. On some phones, you'll be able to see the build number. But on my phone, mine is a Samsung Galaxy. So I have to go into software information. There you are, build number. On build number, you tap a few times. One, two, three. You see a new message. Five. Okay, we're getting closer to developer mode. Boom. I'm supposed to key in my password. And there, it says we are in developer mode now. So I have to go back to the main settings menu and scroll all the way down. There you are, developer options. Let's get into developer options and look for the debugging. There's a debugging uh, menu. All we need to activate is USB debugging. So I'm going to activate now. Allow USB debugging. Just say, OK, allow USB debugging. If you like this video so far, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Feel free to leave your comment or question down below. If you haven't done so, subscribe. If you'd like to download the checklist and the mind map, go to the link in the description. Okay, let me know if there is a better way to mirror your Android screen to your computer without any lag. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one. box and type S C R C P Y and activate this software and boom there you are